Welcome back. Man, that was awesome music. We love Chris Finlayson here. Uh, love is anointed music. And remember, too, that the prayer line is open 24 hours a day, 888-731-1000. If you got a, a need, uh, if you need some prayer, call that number. And because uh, I'm going to tell you, this segment we've got here is going to be good because we are talking about women, uh, Proverbs 31 women. And uh, we've got a great lineup for you now. We have uh, God Oddities Off the Wall Decor. Yeah, I read it because it's a long name, <laughs> and uh, but they got a great ministry here in town. And uh, Tiki, tell them, tell them what's going on with uh, God Oddities. Okay. Well, I have Debbie Fleming and her husband Jason with me today, who have also been in my, my life for quite a long time. Um, but Debbie, why don't you tell us uh, the background of your ministry and the name? Um, my ministry is called God Oddities Off the Wall Decor. And um, it's based on my testimony. And it started because I had went through many, many, many years of abuse and thought that I couldn't possibly be used by God for anything because there was so much damage and so many things that had happened that were dents and dings in my life that I thought there's no possible way that God could ever use me. And I was painting and doing things to just get through the emotional stuff that I had gone through. And, and God was telling me, you know how whenever you're painting and you see things and, and you see things and stuff that I don't, that normal people when they're picking up something, they don't look at something and see the things that I see when I'm painting. You wouldn't pick up a board and see owls on it. I see owls when I pick up that board because I know that's what I'm going to paint on it. He says, you see potential in things. You see the treasure in the trash that you pick up. I see the treasure in you. And I know what you can do. And he saw the ministry inside of me when I didn't see anything inside of me that could possibly be done. And I worked my way through my healing, through my art, and through that deliverance. This is the testimony of that. Um, and that's how I made it through. So all of this stuff that we see here are things that were thrown away. Yes. And I mean, even, even a, uh, a can of lid. Can. Yes. And it says, God says, yes, yes you can. You can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so all of these things, these things were meant to be thrown away. Yes. Um, so tell me what these things are to you that, some, that someone else is trash and how do you find all the supplies for all of this artwork? Probably 90% of it are things that either I literally find on the side of the road or things that I walk into a thrift shop and find for a dime, a nickel, a quarter, or whatever. Or I have someone call and say, I have, would you like, and that is given to me. I can't tell you how many times that I've woke up in the middle of the night and God says, do this. And an idea comes. The God says, yes, you can, comes from um, Lauren, our stepdaughter, was moving out into her apartment. And she was having a real tough time just getting there and making that step because it's huge. And God had me write a note and just stick it on top of the of the sink, you know, where she would see it, where she was putting those milk glasses in the sink. <laughs> and it was just that simple obedience of putting that up there and telling her, God says, yes, you can. You can do this. You're a mighty woman of God. You know, that's what I got to say to her, but it was those simple words of God says, yes, you can. But do you know how many people need to see that God says, yes, you can? Mm -hmm. And there's a mirror mm -hmm. that That's says good. that. That's good. And 
I did an art show here a while back and, and had mirrors like that. And there was a single mom that comes up and she's looking at a mirror that I had like that. She just starts crying and she's like, God, I need that. There's days that I can't even go out of the house. I feel like I can't make it. She's got three little kids, you know, running around. And, and I said, here. She said, I don't have any money. And I said, no, honey, you're supposed to have this. She goes, I can't pay for this. And I said, God said you're supposed to have this. I was a single mom. I know what it's like to walk out of the house and feel like you can't make it. But God says, yes, you can. And so you take this and you walk out of the house and you say, yes, God says, yes, I can. And her kids look up and says, Mom, we don't have any money. How did you get that? And she said, she gave it to me. And they were teary-eyed because they knew that... They knew the struggle and yeah. who she was. Wow. Well, talk to me a little bit about the things that we have transformed the set with <laughs> of, new of your set, art. By the way, I hope you <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, talk to us a little bit about some of the things and the story behind it and how that's connected to a story. Well, I'm going to start with the most precious one okay. to me. And he's sitting right here. So. <laughs> um, Mr. Jason. Mr. Awesome Jason. man of God, by yes. the way. This is my husband. supports you yes. in everything that you do. Yes. Yeah. And... Um, the first transformation, the first God oddity is me. And whenever God worked me through this, and well, I went through... What is her name, by the way? Her name is Shameless Eve. It's what? Shameless Eve. Shameless Eve. Yes. And she started out just as a, a solid black mannequin. And whenever... I started painting her. I painted her with the vines and everything, and that's her covering because Eve was covered with the leaves covering her mm -hmm. shame. Mm -hmm. And God told me to put the words on her that I was believing for, for myself, which is virtuous, complete, fine, blessed, pure, diligent, lacking no good things, strong, all of those things that I was believing for, confident, God-confident, obedient, all those things. He wants me to bloom. He wants all women to bloom in those areas that we have had the brokenness in and to flourish in those places that were called to that Proverbs 31 woman that's called to go out to the gates and to go out and buy your wares and sell them and to dress your husband fine. <laughs> and you are fine, by the way. That's right. right. He's you my pretty good today. Yep. That's right. <laughs> so whenever she was finished at the top on her neck, she says, forgiven. Awesome. And the reason why she's shameless, Eve, is because she's forgiven. She's not just Eve, she's shameless Eve. That's that grace. Yes, she's covered in his grace. That's why she's beautiful now. Yeah. And so I'm the first God oddity. And whenever he and I first got married, I didn't know, honestly, because I was physically, mentally, and sexually abused. Most people don't know this. Three to eight years old, sexually abused. Fifteen years old, raped. I married at 23. Mentally, physically, sexually abused. Was in a relationship my daughter conceived in a rape. She is here. She was created before the foundation of the earth, was That's meant right. to be here. I wouldn't be here had she not been. I know that. 
I know that I know that I know that I know that I wouldn't have had the strength to fight for my own life, but I had the strength to fight for hers. And I named her Chloe, which means green and new beginning. <laughs> and she's that. And she is. She <laughs> is. Yeah. She is. The essence of that. And I prayed and believed for a godly husband that would love me and love her. And I didn't know whether anybody would ever be able to open my heart really and whether I would really ever be able to love somebody. And you wasn't looking. You no. wasn't looking for nothing. You wasn't out looking for a no. man or, you know, God, give me a man. No. You was, you was all you were sold pursuing out to God. God. <laughs> yes. And God dropped this hunk of man into your lap. Hunk of, hunk of burning love. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he is a good man. Now, Jason, um, now she she goes and, and does this. What's what's one of the things that you do to support her? How do you, as as that godly man, and and she's going into her ministry, what what's your your strength? I guess. <laughs> How do you feel about her using your power tools? That's really yeah. The question. That's really what it is. She actually has um, a better collection of power tools than I do. Actually, uh, um, picky, you know. I, I actually, I mean, just simple things. You know, I mean, I. I actually loaded the vehicle last night. It was loaded down, and um, so much so that I had to take Chloe to school this morning in the other car. Created um, amazing Excel spreadsheet for me to be able to upload all my stuff so that it goes much quicker than it did. Yeah, just little simple things. A little simple things, and that, you know things. what? That's 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 all we need to do really. Sometimes it's just the simple things. It's not the big things. Well, and the other thing too, though, is you're talking to a single mom that worked three jobs to make ends meet. He has an amazing job that provides for our family. And for the first time in my life ever, I don't have to go to a job and work my tail off to have income coming in. I can actually do the ministry that God has called me to with no pressure with his support telling me that's what you're called to do I don't want you to go into a place and work for someone I want you to do what God's called you to do and, and go what's, pursue it. what's unique about this is uh, is men you know this is about women you know this, this. You know, as we had the wow on, and we, you know, we have. You're know, talking about the Proverbs women, but this guy right here supports you so that you can do what God's called you to do. And not only that, this guy fights for our country, mm -hmm. and he's gone on leave, and and he's gone, you know, fighting for our country. I know we didn't want to say anything about it, but he's modest. But but that comes back to that Proverbs woman. You given to your man, your man given unto you, and 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 look at look at the stuff that God has made mm -hmm. and through the anointed hands of mm -hmm. a Proverbs woman. Well, we were created in his image yes. and he created. And therefore you are just using what he's put inside of you to create all of these things. He made us from dirt. Because yes. God doesn't see junk. <laughs> see, God doesn't see junk. See, now, now listen, this is a distress table that you, that you made. All right. Uh, they call it uh, shabby chic. Uh, I lived in original shabby chic, and so I don't really like shabby chic that much. What I mean, I mean, we bought it, and then we just wore it out till it was shabby. <laughs> and uh, but but you see this, I would see this. I'll just throw it away. You see something that has got beauty and purpose to it. I see what the world threw away, and I turn it into God's treasure. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. who? And I mean, it's a it's a top off a soup can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, you know, we throw these away. In your chicken noodle soup, you throw it away, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you saw something that's worth, and that's what's mm -hmm. cool about this ministry mm -hmm. is, yeah. is your thinking. God is showing you to think like He does. Okay, yeah. tell me about this piece. I was telling you about the He was the one who could open my heart. Mm -hmm. This was His first Christmas present when we got married, and everything that I do has meaning. When I did the work with the girls with mm -hmm. the prison, mm -hmm. um. We did signs that said forgiven, and it was made out of junk metal. And 
it's a, um, you know, telling nothing is thrown away, nothing is not able to be used. This was him opening the key to my heart. And God can use anything. God can use anyone. He can use everyone's gifts and talents. That's awesome. Period. And if I could say anything to anybody, it's don't think that you can't be used. Period. Because this is all thrown away keys mm -hmm. that everyone else saw as I don't need this anymore, I don't live at this place, or I lost this lock, I don't need that key. But to you, it was something that symbolized him being able to be the man that you mm -hmm. needed to open your heart, and to, to, to make you that whole person that God created you to be. And you're talking about, when we talk about used, now, the, the, the God's idea of used is different than the world's idea of used. The world's ideal of used is that's garbage. God's ideal of used is, hey, there's still beauty and there's still purpose in that mm -hmm. to be able to. And that, that's what's so cool about what you do. And all of your stuff and everything that you do is uh, it's for sale, right? Yes. Tell, and, tell us how they can find your stuff. Um, I am on Facebook and you can put in G-O-D, God, Odd, O-D-D. Deb, D-E-B, at gmail.com. Just simply put that into Facebook. That is not simply, but okay. <laughs> simply put in God Odd Deb into Facebook, and it'll pop up my Debbie Fleming. My Etsy page, my Facebook page for God Oddities Off the Wall Decor is on there. You can click to either one of those links from that. Also, the web page and everything will be on there mm -hmm. from that. Another thing that I want you to know is that proceeds from this, go to benefit people who have PTSD from either domestic violence or from military. And that is in honor of he and I both because I have it from domestic violence. He has it from being in Africa and Iraq. And I believe in giving back and helping others from where you came, helping them get out. That's Don't awesome. put it all on yourself. Mm -hmm. Take what was intended for evil and turn it to good. Help somebody else out. Mm -hmm. That's what God created us for. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not that, that's we exactly. four and no more. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's one of the um, one of the things that helps us find our purpose is the thing that touches our heart the most. The what's thing the where our pain was, God takes that pain and uses it for our purpose, and that's truly what you've done with God oddities. In these last couple of minutes, I would like for you to pray for the people in the viewing, viewing audience that, um, that may be where you are to I give them some encouragement. Away. Absolutely. Yes. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for this opportunity. And I thank you that the ears that are out there hear this. Lord, I thank you that the ladies and the gentlemen that are going through things that are difficult find the strength, the abilities, the purpose in their life. Know who they are in you. Say this simple prayer, the simple prayer that my daughter and I used to say together. Lord, I thank you that I'm smart. I'm beautiful. I can do all things through you. I'm healed. I'm whole. I walk in my purpose. I thank you that I am someone's prayers manifested. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, it has been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of our show. Yeah, we want to thank our, uh, our uh, TBN audience. Uh, thank you so much for coming and letting us allow us to come into your home. We want to thank the TBN family for allowing us to come and do this. This is such great fun. I'm going to tell you, the staff up here is amazing, and uh, we love them so much. But listen, this is not over yet. Uh, I want you to keep in touch, uh, stay in tune. Don't go nowhere. we got a message that's going to come up that's going to change your life forever, and it's going to touch you right where you are. And so stay tuned for our message.